Hi friends. We're going to do, this is page three of the um, color trace and cut and paste. I'm all about a giraffe. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy this and color it here. He is a light brown and a dark brown, or it might be easier to do orange and brown. That's the colors that I see here. Maybe he's a little tanner right there, so maybe I'm going to take a lighter crayon for the nose. So first I'm going to color brown, I mean orange, right here on his head, and his ears, and his little little bumps up here. I don't know what they're called on a giraffe. I'd have to look that up. And then right here is a little bit of a lighter brown. So I'm going to do a lighter brown there. And here I'm going to do all the dots in dark brown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and his feet in dark brown. And maybe the tip of his tail. Then I'm going to color the rest of him orange just to make it very colorful mm -hmm. and lots of fun. There's my giraffe. Sometimes I go outside of lines, but I try to stay inside the best I can. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is trace the word giraffe. G. I, R, A, F, F, E, giraffe. Excellent. Now we are going to cut out this bottom and we're going to answer these, answer the questions with the pictures. So the first thing I'm going to do is see this dotted line? I'm going to cut on the dotted line. Now, moms and dads, if your child is really at just the snipping phase, you would cut this out. Um, you'd cut out the whole entire little square here. So if your child is just snipping, not cutting straight lines, you would want to cut out all these things in advance so that you just have this little piece of paper at the end. Because the goal is to figure out what the answers are to these questions and then we're going to use a glue stick to attach these pictures. So it says, I see the and I think giraffe right here is his best answer. I see the giraffe. So I'm going to cut the picture of the giraffe off. So I have my giraffe and I'm going to open my glue stick, put a little piece of glue right there, or rub a little glue, put it here, and paste the giraffe. So now my sentence is, I see the giraffe. Next, I'm going to say it has, the first one is creature. That doesn't make sense. It has creature? That makes no sense. So I'm going to say it has a long neck. <gasps> that does make sense. I'm going to keep, hide my fingers away. You saw my fingers were sticking out under here. I don't want them there. I'm going to hide my fingers away and I'm going to snip off creature. Put that aside. That didn't make sense, but maybe I'll answer one of my next questions. And the next one says a long neck. So now I'm going to take a little bit of my glue, put it after it has. So now it says it has a long neck. Our next sentence says a giraffe eats. So let's see what it has here. Spots. That makes no sense. So I'm going to cut spots off and read the next one. 
leaves. I think that's right. I think giraffes eat leaves. So I'm gonna tuck my fingers in, hold my scissors. You put your big fingers in the long side and your thumb in the small side. Open and snip. And one cut and it comes right off. So then we're gonna put a little bit of glue, attach my leaves. And it is done. And this says, the giraffe is brown or yellow. I didn't see any yellow in this picture. I do think some giraffes may be yellow. So if you want to say yellow, you can. But I think I'm going to say brown because mostly it's brown in the picture. So I'm going to cut that off. Oops, it flipped over. I almost didn't see that there. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And I'm going to put brown here. So we finished our page. If you would like to write your name, my name is Amy. I'm going to put it here, A-M-Y. And you can write your name up there. So have fun. Thank you.